Hey everyone, and I have a package unboxing from Amazon right here. Yeah, it looks like just put on a real piece of perfect for pizza. So it's it was sold on Amazon. It's um you can do two methods on Amazon. You can do where um you ship it, you get the product, and then you like list it on Amazon. And then you get ready for like a shipment. And then you ship it to Amazon. You like list it for like the price you want. And then Amazon will take care of the rest. They'll take care of the, the packaging. They'll take care of the ship. You know, they'll take care of like the, um, like the shipping. They'll take care of like the returns. They'll handle all that. They might handle like the returns based on like what you set. I'm not Amazon, so I don't know. They might base either returns on what you set, or just Amazon's default policy, and sellers have to follow that. Or maybe you know Amazon treats their sellers you know like decent, like where it's, hey um, we'll refund on your behalf. You keep the money or something like that maybe, but they charge more in fees because of the shipping. To um. You know, yeah, I don't know if the shipping gets taken out of Amazon, of the seller's pockets. I don't know if it does or not. But either way, you know. I'm not sure if it, the shipping does get taken out of the seller's pockets. I would, um, maybe, I would think, possibly it could. But maybe not. Because I know they, and then I know Amazon charges, like, Per square foot, so if you use up like hundred square feet of space for for an item, that am if it per month, so that I'm at charge cost you like a buck. But then you're paying for like that fees and you're paying like extra fees on it. But then you have the convenience of not having to ship it. You know you can like certain items you can charge more. So basically, like you might get eBay price, but you have to like instead of am after fees, but you don't have to ship it, you have to, you know what I mean, you just have to ship it to them, but you don't have to ship it to the customer, you might have to do with their concerns, stuff like that. So the seller sent me the wrong item on Amazon. It is F1 2011. I heard F1 2010. The Windows Live version of F1 2010. Looks like I'm going to be on the phone with Amazon customer service. About that issue. About this issue. Oh boy. Amazon customer service. Amazon. Amazon customer service. Yep. I'm gonna ship this back. Sent me the wrong item. Yep, it was supposed to be F1 2010. The manual inside isn't good for F1 2010. And the book is F1 2011. And he said, but the disc is F1 2011. Shady, shady seller. Wow, the first seller couldn't ship it to me because it got damaged in custom. Well, this one? Problem with order. Different from what I ordered. You go straight to
Okay, so I guess I don't need a contact Amazon customer service. Wrong item. Yep, it says import and they look it says F 121 Inside it's F 121 but the menu for F 2010 is it. Inside. Oh man. That is wrong item on Amazon. Wow, wow, wow. And the seller didn't have them. So I'm going to have to refund. I'm going to do that where I refund and leave it. Wow, so I'm going to have to get in an Amazon button. I can't teach with mailer yet. But I can print the ship and label. And then I have to um put the return label inside. Yeah. 
I was looking for it too. Hundred percent restock. It's gonna be like four. Sent me the wrong name. It's a bogus thing. Like, hey, we can sell you the wrong item. Maybe we can sell you the wrong item. Or we can say you use the item, but like you can't be terminal. No return. So, okay. Because if you if you can use the item, you return to use the item. So it's I think I can do the same. I Okay, so there is. I was just in one way to And there we go. So that is a little bit unfortunate. Because you can't return it. Here's my thing. And. 
the right idea. Very frustrating. But I wish you know with sure got the right right name. Um F1 2010. I wish I got it because I really wanted it, you know. I really did. It was a game for about for um um PC. So like kind of a frustrating. It annoyed. A little bit annoying frustrating. Really, you know. So, here's what it is. So, here's what it is. 